welcome to another moment of truth. The Lord has been helping us on the case on this message of sow not among thorns. What does it mean to sow among thorns? How can we sow among thorns so that we can avoid it? We have seen some of them in the past two weeks. Today, we want to examine another dimension. What does it mean to, to be sowing among thorns? The one we want to consider today is common to all. When you worship God in unforgiveness, it is not acceptable. It will choke you. It's only a matter of time. It will make you unfruitful with God. And when you are unfruitful with God, we will see what will happen here. The scripture says to us in that Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5, verses 23 to 24. Matthew 5, 23 to 24. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and you remember that your brother has ought or, or uh, an offense with you or against you, you say, leave the offering at the altar, leave the gift at the altar and go thy way for, and reconcile, first reconcile yourself to your brother and then come and offer your gift. What does that mean? It means that if you offer that gift, it is not acceptable. It means that what I am producing to God is not acceptable. It is tantamount to unfruitfulness. Every time I am walking in unforgiveness, whatever I do at that time is not acceptable. God is looking at it like, look, you are allowing unforgiveness to choke you, to choke life out of you. And I have even heard of some people say, if that be the case, I can never forgive that fellow. And then if that is the case, I'm not coming to church again. Excuse me, sir. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It means if you if you continue coming to the church and you continue abhorring unforgiveness in your heart, you are sowing your seed in the midst. In fact, you are sowing your life in the midst of thorns. Very soon it will choke you and you will become unfruitful. And when you become unfruitful, the master will say, Cut him down, cut her down. Don't allow it. How do I know it? Look at your scripture. When you look at number Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, and Matthew chapter 6, verse 15. That is why Jesus Christ said, When you stand praying, and you now say, And forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. Look at what you now say in verse 15 yourself. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. So Verse 15, place you, you put yourself under the bondage of forgiving my sin and don't, for, and don't answer me if I don't forgive others. But you forgive me the way I forgive others. The moment you don't forgive others, you have already choked up yourself. And the second one, say, Jesus Christ now said in that verse 15, if you do not, then you will not be forgiven. That is what it, it tells us in that verse number 15 of the same chapter number 6, Matthew. If you do not forgive them their trespasses, they, you will not be forgiven your own. So don't live in unforgiveness. It will choke you. It will choke your Christian life. How do I learn this? I love the story of the master and his servant. In Matthew chapter 18, Matthew chapter 18, the Bible says that in verse 34, in verse 34, and the, his Lord was wrought and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all what was due unto him. Verse 35, verse 35. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if you from your heart forgive not every man his brother and their trespasses. What does that mean? Sir, I have decided to bring my seeds to the house, bring my tithe to the house, and offer my service to God, and claim that I am a child of God, but I refuse to forgive my brother. The Bible made me to understand that that unforgiveness will catch up with me. How? In verse 34, the Bible says, He called them, deliver him to the hand of the tormentors. Which means that whenever I am sowing in the midst of unforgiveness, I am actually choking myself because when I am delivered into the hand of tormentors, they will torment me to the point that I will not be able to have any life at all to live. You say, well, Pastor, what does that mean? Hey, tormentors can be accidents. Untimely accidents can just happen. Excuse me, tormentors can be miscarriages of pregnancy. Tormentors can be failure of exams. 
For tormentors can be your landlord will say, just pack out of my house when you have just given that address of that place as your place of residence that you are expecting an important letter. And God bless you, if in your country they don't do address forwarding, I hope they do it all over the world. <laughs> so they will just forward your, your letters to you or they will just tell you, oh, this is stupid man, he has left this out, they drop it in the garbage and that's an expensive letter for you. All forgiveness can cost anything. That is what it means to be delivered into the hand of tormentor. And it is the thorns of unforgiveness that leads to such things. It is my prayer that as you go in the course of this week, the Lord will help you. And you will receive grace to forgive others. You will receive grace to, to, to overlook their shortcomings. You will receive grace to be a child of God that will forgive your brother, your sister, your friend, your relative, so that you will not be sowing yourself in the midst of the thorns of unforgiveness to the point that it will choke you and heaven will have delivered you into the hand of tormentors and you will not be able to deliver results. The Bible tells us in that verse 35, it says, so will your heavenly father does to you. If you from your heart forgive not your brother or your sister, and you continue coming to church, say, God knows my heart, I'm, I'm serving God, it doesn't concern me, and my, my, my heart is clear. And when you see your brother, when it's time for Holy Communion, he's in the, in the church, taking communion with me, you go another way. Or that brother comes from another direction, you go that a tangential direction, you are avoiding one another. Sir, do stop deceiving yourself. Give them credit for forgiveness and go your own way so that God will help you and you will not be choked up. The Lord bless you as you go. Go and have a wonderful week and do not sow 